An Emmett Till marker is vandalized again, and residents of Glendora say they are fed up. WJTV 12's Shay O'Connor joins us now live in the studio with more on why Emmett Till supporters are hoping the National Park Service will step in. Shay. has placed markers in commemoration of his brutal murder. Now, those markers have become a target, much like Emmett Till. One should just, you know, harm something that have history behind it, you know. And, um, like, he really just gave us a reason to stand up for ourselves as black people. You know? Keetrick Scott lives directly behind an Emmett Till marker riddled with bullet holes. The marker is one of eight designed to lead tourists to the site where Emmett Till's body was placed after being taken out of the Tallahatchie River in 1955. That marker has been replaced twice after being stolen and shot many instances. Patrick Weems, the co-founder of the Emmett Till Interpretive Center, says the area is historic for many reasons. What happened here um, started the civil rights movement. If, if we, if Emmett's body never came out of the river, um, we would have never had an open casket in Chicago. If there was no open casket in Chicago, uh, Rosa Parks pointed to Till's memory as the reason she refused to give up her seat. And so this is the, this is in many ways, this spot we're standing on is, is the start of the civil rights movement. In 1955, a teenage Emmett Till was in town for summer vacation. He was taken out of the home where he was staying and beaten to death. This after being falsely accused of flirting with a white woman. Before he was thrown into the river, a cotton gin was placed around his neck to hold his body down. 63 years later, Weem says the bullet holes defacing the sign show proof that there is still a lot of work to be done in the small Mississippi town. Many believe the marker should stay up as is. There's been uh, several people, one of the Till family members has asked us to leave the sign as is, right? The idea that uh, this is a testimony to the work that needs to be done. Um, that, that the fact that people would want to violate this sign, they want to take it down, uh, means that, that uh, we still have tons of work to do. And we know that this isn't going to happen overnight. There's going to be generational change. And, and we've got to keep these signs up so that our young people know the story. Emmett Till Interpretive Center is hoping the area will be designated a national land bar by the National Park Service. If it is given designation, it will be monitored by the federal government, making it a federal felony to vandalize the sites. Reporting in studio, Shay O'Connor, WJTV 12.